Hi everybody, this is Mason with MLH Repairs. Uh, I got onto the computer on YouTube and there's a big debate on cordless versus pneumatics. Uh, a lot of the cordless guys are saying that uh, eventually they're gonna put pneumatics out, which is impossible, it's not gonna happen. Uh, that's just my opinion on it. I think there is a time to use either or. Uh, I mean, truthfully, if you're running three quarter guns or one inch guns, at some point in time there's an air jack involved in it, uh, or you need massive torque for an extended period. So, I mean, I know Milwaukee has come out with the, the new cordless for the one inch line. I do not own one. Uh, I would just say that in my experience with cordless, it's not going to have the longevity. I mean, can't sit there and just hammer and hammer and hammer and not expect something to go wrong. Uh, but I do not see cordless overtaking the pneumatics world. Um, for longevity on battery packs, pretty much your cordless gun's useless once your battery packs are shot. Not just shot, uh, when they update. You know, as long as you can supply a line of batteries to it, your gun's gonna be all right. But they advance so much. Uh, really, they're never gonna stop making air fittings for the bottom of air guns. As long as you can put air to them, it's there. My air compressor in my shop is a 1958 Bruner. Uh, there is no way a battery pack is going to last that long. Uh, I said, change oil in it, keep dry air, and you're good uh, but to relieve the pressure I do use both and like I said there's a time for it uh, I'll show you quick uh, my shop cordless impacts I'm not getting into drills and die grinders and all that stuff uh, I'll show you my impacts um, in my shop I use that's a snap on half inch and there's another snap on half inch two snap on three eighths and then in my truck I run Matco line um, truthfully I just think that my Matcos have more power to them uh, I think my battery packs last longer uh, just durability I mean they, these things are abused and they keep going uh, they've been out in the snow they've been in the rain I've left this gun as a matter of fact in, out on top of a machine they got snowed on and I actually wasn't able to get back to it for two days it works I mean what more can I ask for uh, but I do use pneumatic lines like I'm saying uh, you get into these three the two one inch and the three quarter a lot of times somewhere in there you're gonna have an air jack or you need massive supply of air my three eighths lines uh, I have my two butterflies. Uh, there's three three eighths guns. Uh, I'm not putting everything out. Uh, my half inch line. Uh, everything. Uh, there's snap on Mat Matco. Uh, that's an air cat. That was actually came from Mac. Uh, and the IRs. And let me just throw out three of the air ratchets. You know. But are these ever going to be replaced by battery? No, I don't see it. Uh, that's just it, you know. And like I said, whenever you get into these, say if I'm doing hydraulic cylinders, I got to sit there and lay on that. Do I see a battery pack holding up to that? No, because I know how my half-inch guns get. When you're constantly holding on that trigger, you start smelling it. I mean, they're they get hot it's an electric motor it is what it is so i mean in a lighter duty application yeah i can see a lot of people going to the cordless but my other thing is any mechanic that's out there when they're working on stuff you can't tell me that they're not going to be taking a blow nozzle and blowing debris dirt and debris away from where they're working 
I understand you get in there and you pressure wash everything out and you get it nice and clean. But once you're done cleaning gaskets and you're spraying stuff down, you're going to be in there with a blow nozzle. When you're in a shop and the shop is paying for the electric, you know, that compressor sitting there running away. Why abuse your cordless? It's not coming out of your pocket at that point in time then. Run the air tools. They're right there for you. That's why shops supply that. Some people are saying, well, shops are getting away from air. Bullshit. You need air for so much stuff. I mean, look at your tire changers. Are you telling me that they're running an 18-volt battery, a 24-volt battery, and a freaking tire changer? No, you need the air. So, the shops are supplied. But, I mean, that's that, that doesn't mean anything. It is what it is. But, just to show, I do use both of them. They both have their place in the workforce. Is one better than the other? No. They're, they're pretty much the same line. I mean, I rely on my air but I rely on my battery packs. Is one going to replace the other one? Not a chance. All right, guys. You have a good day. See you.